All right, everyone. Well, I tried to do this once, and I ended with a eight minutes of green screen. So I guess that's not gonna work. Um, so round two, I guess they, as they say. So um, let's kind of go over what we're going, where we're gonna do today. We are going to work. Um, I'm just gonna make this 24 by 24. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter what it is. You can make it anything. Um, I'm just gonna make it a little larger. So, um, command minus and plus does your screen too. So if you're ever wondering how I'm doing this, I always forget to say things like that. Um, what we're going to look at today is going to be the brush tool, the brush and the eyedropper, um, which you do use a lot. If you remember last week we had desaturation. So taking a picture, making it black, um, and white, basically desaturate it. And then doing that command L to change the levels and make the lights lighter and the darks darker. And then you can change the middle. And we also added, used a little bit of the marquee tool where um, we had text, and then we also put a color with that text. Um, and as we go through this, I'm, I'm giving you guys like the super Cliff Notes version of everything. And Photo P here is doesn't have everything, but it has enough. So um, here we go. We are going to use the brush tool today. And if you look at... Um, if you look at the left side here toolbar we're going to look at this one right here um, one thing I always say when I when I start one of these and I just notice right now is this auto select I always make that on because if I have multiple layers whatever I choose then it'll just go to that layer and that makes your life a lot easier because what happens if you don't have auto select on you're working on something you're like why isn't this working why isn't this working because you're probably not in the right layer um, here, we'll go back here to the brush tool. Sorry for the, the side tangent. Um, here's a brush tool. Uh, the shortcut for the brush tool is B. Uh, if you right click, you can see brush tool, pencil, and color replacement. We're just going to work in the brush tool today. Uh, the brush tool, um, what you're looking at here is right here, is we have two different things. First, we have the size, and I can go up to a thousand point, and you can see that. So if I click off of here and I just click, um, whoops, I got to talk about being on the layer. There's there's my thousand point. I just clicked once. So you can see here, and if I go back, and of course if I hold it down, it colors it. So you can see how the I can change the size um, of that object relatively easy, right? Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the hardness. So I'm just going to Command-Z here and get rid of those. And let's go with the hardness. So here's going to be, I'm just going to kind of, here of course is 100%. Okay. Um, we'll go down to roughly 75. I was trying to get to, I got 74. Now you can see the difference between those. You can see as I go down here some more to 50 and, and how that keeps looking, um, on the hardness. I always think the hardness kind of like a spray paint. Um, and the far, far, farther down you go here, of course, the lighter it gets. So you can see here, this is 100% hardness, and all the way we go down, it becomes less and less. Now, I can sit here, and I can still, this is almost like spray paint to me, is what I think when I'm on this low of hardness. Okay? Now, of course, you can always change that, and let's say you go to 100%, and that goes over it, and you just get that clear edge. Okay? So, there's the difference in hardnesses. Um, let's look at some different tools. Uh, looking at, uh, Photo P here, we don't have a lot to work with, but we, we have some. You know, in Photoshop, you'll have, I don't even know, probably like a hundred different things. Uh, leaves, you name it. So if you look at some of these, you can see it changes the points and you can change that to whatever you want. And you can see this one is really kind of light colored. Um, we can go through, we can go through, whoops, I gotta make that a little larger, otherwise it doesn't work. Um, you can see that that's this is kind of like I'm going to you can kind of see it see now when would you use this sometimes when you're touching up photos um, trying to clear up or trying to blend two two things together um, that can come in handy uh, you can see some of these different ones like this one for example is kind of the same thing you can, now if I click or if I click and hold then it's different okay and that's all pressure too I mean you're like, when would I use this? Well, honestly, on some of these, what I, uh, you'll see some people 
will be to add um, facial hair where there is none, like in wedding photos. Like if they have like a little missing part or something, they can go in and change all that. Uh, wedding photos use Photoshop a lot to whiten teeth. Uh, any misplaced objects, anything like that, they can they can manipulate in there. So, you know, when you look at this, and of course, if you need to change color, you can always go down here to um, whatever you want. Okay. Now, you can see paintbrush is a relatively simple object. Okay. Um, the next one that we're going to talk about here is going to be uh, the eyedropper. And for the shortcut for the eyedropper is I. Everyone wants, I want to say E because eyedropper, but it is I. So an eyedropper is just that. So um, I'm going to look up um, a famous painting. So once I hit that, you can see there's a lot of different uh, paintings that pop up. You were, this is going to be part of your assignment. You're going to choose one famous painting. It has to be more than like seven colors or something like that. So you need multiple colors. I'm going to pick uh, um, this one right here, which is, uh, if you don't know, is going to be uh, Vincent van Gogh Starry Night. Uh, let's pop it on there. Now, I'm going to let that load. Um, I shift, I'm going to make that a little larger. Let's see, that's my own background. Um, so once once I have the object here, I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in and kind of show you how I'm going to do this. Is um, and one second here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this Vincent Van Gogh painting, and of course you can choose any painting you'd like. And what you are going to do is you are going to create a your own painting using the brush tool. So um, let's go. Everything's just so, oh, I'm, that's why I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. So I always like to start off with a new layer sometimes. It just makes life um, uh, a little easier. So over here on the eyedropper, if you look at this, now in Photoshop, it would give you the eyedropper here. It doesn't. It just gives you the the um, cursor, the point pointer. So once I click, watch my color down here change. Where I click at here, it's going to take the eyedropper and actually just pick that color. Now I'm just going to click and hold this, and you can watch this right here and how it changes through the painting. Now, yeah, because as I do this, this is the color, this is the eyedropper tool. It's just going to pick that color. So for example, what are you going to do? Well, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to pick the eyedropper of the sun here. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and hit B, uh, the brush tool. I'm going to get myself uh, that. Probably do about 50% hardness. See what size that is. Make it a little larger. Um, and I'm going to uh, create kind of what what's on there. Now, is that perfect? Absolutely not. But it's a good way of just working back and forth between an eyedropper, okay, and then going up here and changing it. So um, when you're looking at this, for example, if I hit eyedropper on there, and I'm going to flip back to this, and now I can color the outside of this. And you can see, again, it's not perfect, and I'm not shooting perfect. Perfect. All I'm shooting, well, it's really not perfect. All I'm shooting for is kind of an idea. Now, again, I'm going to go back and forth between this. Here's my eyedropper and my boom and then brush tool. And you can, whoops. And this is why I got to make sure I'm flipping back into the right. Uh, so you can see how my blue's changing there. And then I can change my brush tool. And if you need to, you can change the size. Um, and you can... Uh, Wrong layer, my bad. So then you can go through and there's my blue and then you can add stuff. So you can mess with the hardness and on these or maybe you want it to be a little lighter, um, whatever. So when you're done is you're going to recreate that object, that painting as best as you can. Now, again, um, this I'm not grading you on how well you are compared to the original. So I'd like to have the original here and then your painting above it so you can make that size whatever you need it to be 
But no, you're not. I'm just looking at the color picker. You're trying to, or the eyedropper. You're just trying to eyedrop colors and use them as a brush tool. Go back and forth. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be, um, you know, kind of rough. Hopefully a little better than mine, but kind of rough. So it just gets you using the eyedropper and, and the brush tool. Okay. So there's your assignment. Pick a famous painting, recreate it using the brush tool and eyedropper. All right. Have a good day.